Earlier this year, the Oakland Raiders brought John Gruden back to NFL coaching after nine years away. And they did so by signing Coach Gruden to a 10-year, $100 million contract. They think he's the one to bring the Oakland Raiders back to the Super Bowl. Recently, the Raiders were able to create a young core of players that they could actually build around, with the likes of Derek Carr and his connection with Amari Cooper, and of course, one of the best defensive players in football, Khalil Mack. So with this franchise trying to build toward the Super Bowl, what have they done this offseason? Well, one of their biggest moves was signing 33-year-old wide receiver Jordy Nelson to a two-year, $15 million contract. They also signed the 35-year-old Derek Johnson from the Kansas City Chiefs. Most of their moves have been to acquire veterans. John Gruden has talked about taking the game back to 1998, and that seems to be the theme of this offseason, acquiring veterans and creating this old-school approach. There are 13 players on this team currently 30 years or older and many of them could play prominent roles on the 2018 Raiders. We can see their top two running backs being the 32-year-old Marshawn Lynch and the 29-year-old Doug Martin. What if John Gruden is on to something here, bringing the game back to 1998? Well, today we're putting this methodology to the test in Madden 18 as I am assembling the John Gruden-inspired Old School Fantasy Rebuild. I've been really excited about bringing more rebuilds to the channel, whether it be like my Browns 0-16 rebuild or something more like this, taking a theme and trying to build a team around it here in a fantasy draft. And that's what we're doing here in this mini-series. I'm just gonna make John Gruden the owner here because the coach creator is too basic. There are only like 10 different coaches you can even pick from. So he might as well be the owner anyway because they gave him a $100 million contract. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into fantasy drafts here and we're gonna build a team with the inspiration of John Gruden. We want a team here with an old school approach. And that means maybe getting some players who have been around the league a little while. We want tough football players. We want big football players. Let's get to work. So let's see exactly what team we're able to build here in Madden 18 Fantasy Draft. Oh wow, we pick all the way toward the bottom of round one, but we'll pick toward the top of round two at least. So what do you do here? Your first pick in the draft, what have other teams done? We see Casey Hayward went not long ago, Harrison Smith, Julio Jones. No quarterbacks. Well, I guess Carson Wentz went, so did Aaron Rodgers, Cam Newton, Andrew Luck, and Russell Wilson. So I guess a lot of quarterbacks did get drafted. So here are the choices that we have at number 26 overall. Le'Veon Bell, why not go get one of the best backs in the NFL? That'd be an old school way of thinking. He's a big back, he can do so much. He carried the ball, or touched the ball rather, 400 times a year ago. I think John Gruden would love a player like Le'Veon Bell. So you know what? He's our number one selection. Let's go. Here in round number two, what we're gonna do is draft a tone setter on the defensive side. Yeah, we're going all the way down here. Number 12 in Dominican Sue. He's been around the league for a little bit now. He's in his 30s. He's strong. He can control the middle. He's our second selection. Sue also gave us some bonus points there for being 30 years old. Who's next? Every team needs a quarterback, of course. And we're gonna go with the pocket passer, Phillip Rivers, who's played a number of years in the NFL. It's time for Phillip Rivers to make his way to the Raiders. We need players who are tough and help us out in multiple ways, and that's why we're taking Delaney Walker next. He helps set the tone in the running game, but also is a great receiver, and he's had a lot of experience. He's a great fit for our team. I don't like the Falcons now, they just took Cam Chancellor, I was going to take him next. So I guess we better go somewhere else now. We all know how important offensive line is, and he might not be a long time veteran, but we have room here for Zach Martin. So many of the great teams of the past had these dominant offensive lines, and we need to work on constructing one of our own. Let's go David DeCastro. Okay, that's a lot of picks into the offense. We better add to our defense and help us get to the quarterback. We're taking Cam Wake. It's hard to play in today's NFL if you can't stop the pass, so we go get a pass rusher. Now we go get a cover corner in Brent Grimes. 
You know what? If they're still out there, we're going to take great offensive linemen. Let's go Lane Johnson. We're a little young on our offensive line, but maybe we can find a veteran later on. I feel like we have a pretty good team going so far. I like the players that we've taken. We have most of them on offense, so I should try to add some defense here pretty soon. Middle linebackers are often called the quarterbacks of the defense. You need someone who's intelligent. You need someone who can lead the defense. We're going to get Wesley Woodyard. Okay, we haven't taken a wide receiver yet. We should probably do that now. And we have some options here. The reliable Anquan Bolden, great route runner. How about Brandon Marshall? Does he have any more years left in him? We got to take Marshall here. All right, we're going to keep adding to this defense now. And we're going to get T. Sizzle, Terrell Suggs himself. Good news for us. Pretty much all the cornerbacks left have played like 11 years in the league. I think we're going to go Jonathan Joseph right now to pair up with Brent Grimes. Adding a left tackle to help protect Phillip Rivers' blind side is important. Let's get Andrew Whitworth now on the roster. You know, this just kind of feels like I'm building a pretty good team right now. So, let's talk about what my plans are in this little mini-series here as I've just been kind of drafting. And what I wanted to do in here was just build the team around a fun idea. I wanted to get them on the field next episode and sim through a whole season, see how far they can actually go with the way that I built them. And then, you know, probably end it there, maybe just a couple episodes. It'll depend on what you want to see moving forward. Oh, and at the end of the video, I'll show you the playbook I already made for this team. I think you'll like it. Oh, how can we pass on Kyle Williams right here? He's a great run stopper. He's just a tough defensive lineman. That's a slam dunk pick. Now, I should be fair, the Raiders did add some intriguing young players this year as well. They went and got Martavis Bryant, who I think does fit what those old school coaches definitely like in having a downfield receiving ability. So, they did some good things there, but they still took some young players who would have fit a team a number of years ago. Okay, we don't have a safety yet. That should probably change. I think Antoine Bethea here at free safety would be the perfect selection. Every running back needs a good backup. And backing up Le'Veon Bell, we're going Adrian Peterson. You can't get much more old school running back than Adrian Peterson. I keep forgetting to add more wide receivers, so we're going to get a good route runner right here. Anquan Bolden is coming to the Raiders. Oh, of course, in our offense, we're going to run a lot of two tight end formations. So we need another player who can catch and block. And we're taking Zach Miller. If we're going to build this team the right way, we better go get the best fullback in the NFL. And we're drafting Kyle Juszczyk right now in round, what was that, like 21? Now it's really time to use John Gruden for some inspiration. We're actually going to get Derek Johnson on this team as well. He's been an outstanding linebacker. How could this go wrong? Now, we're not going to go and get all these 230-pound linebackers that struggle in the running game. We need strong, tough football players, and we're getting Carlos Dansby next. Okay, it seems everyone is taking backup quarterbacks. I better get in on this. I think we got to go with the veteran Drew Stanton right here. He's got a lot of experience. Like I said, we need versatile players who can do multiple things. I think Danny Woodhead is the kind of player that this offense needs. I waited all this time and I can still get a great center like Nick Mangold. This draft is going so well. Okay, it's hard to get more old school than one of the oldest cornerbacks in the game. We have to take Terrence Newman right now. My main concern on this team is that wide receiver. I did not take them early. So we're going to take Ryan Grant right here. He's not the oldest option we can take. We're still trying to build a team that might be able to win here. But we're going to take Ryan Grant because we need someone who maybe could be good in the future too. We do need a strong safety. Maybe someone who could be an enforcer in the running game like TJ Ward. Coverability is not too good these days. Maybe we go Mike Adams instead then. I think this team could be really good at stopping the run. We're adding Lorenzo Alexander to fill out our linebacker starters. There's always room for a good pass rusher, even if they're a little bit older. You gotta get to the quarterback, and Dwight Freeney's done that a lot in his career. 
Hey, the old school coaches all like those speedy receivers too, so let's go get JJ Nelson. There's always a team that thinks they can get one more good year out of a former great player who hasn't been great in many years. And we're going to try getting that year from Darrell Revis. You know, Tom Johnson had a few good years with the Vikings coming off the bench as a pass rusher. He actually started this past year. But we need players like him that can add some ability in the nickel package. Okay, fine. He's still available. Let's go get the hard-hitting TJ Ward. There are some players in the NFL who just stick around for a very long time and they put together some solid years. You're just waiting for them to be replaced and they never get replaced. We're taking Adam Jones. Old school teams for some reason thought it was necessary to always carry three quarterbacks. So we will get a young quarterback on the team. It's going to be Chad Kelly. I totally forgot about kicker, but don't worry. There are plenty of good ones out there. How can we go wrong with Matt Bryant? And we're going to bring Marquette King back to the Raiders. A blocking tight end with a giant beard sounds like a perfect fit for this team. We're taking Sean McGrath next. Reggie Nelson really down to 60 coverage. You really got to make some mistakes to get down to 60. How about D'Angelo Hall's at 59? Okay, things have changed quite a bit. Let's just take Colt Anderson here. He still has 75 zone coverage. Perhaps four running backs is enough for this team. We're going to get the speedy veteran, Chris Johnson. We also need to think about what if Kyle Juszczyk gets hurt. We have to have that backup fullback. So here's Corey Harkey. Offensive line depth. That's our pick now. John Sullivan. Albert McClellan is up next as we add linebacker depth. Round 49. You're all still with me, right? We just drafted Leon Hall and it's almost over. And for our final selection here in the old school fantasy drafts, a running back and a fullback, Mike Tolbert. It's over. Wait a minute. 54 rounds. That's right. There are 55 aren't there for some reason. Why are we still picking players? Okay, I've done. Give me the speedy KD cannon. Oh, now it's over. All right. I've assembled the team, and this took some time. These drafts, you always think it's going to be fun, and then you get to like round 30, and you're like, wow, I'm hardly halfway done, and I'm only drafting backups right now. But we got through it. And now, look at what I've constructed. It is amazing. This team could legitimately be good. As I mentioned earlier in the video, the Oakland Raiders in real life have 13 players who are 30 or older. While this team I just created has 13 players who are under 30, leaving 41 over the age of 30. But I think this team can still do something nice this year. We might be weak at receiver and corner, but we are strong where it matters. Up front on both sides, we have a great line. We also have tough linebackers. We got great running backs, a good quarterback in Phillip Rivers, good tight ends, three fullbacks. I think we have a winning formula here. So we'll see how good this team truly is when we get on the field next episode in this little mini series. Before we finish though, I want to show you the playbook and we're going to go through preseason and just see how this team does. I accidentally simmed all the way to the regular season, so we have to check from here. How do we do? We went three and one. Okay, so we did well in the preseason. How do we do it? I can't check the stats. Wow, I messed that up. I guess I'll remember that for next time. I had to build a playbook that would fit our style and help us win games. So here's what I came up with. We're gonna focus on running the football Behind our fullback and our great offensive line, we have a variety of I-formation sets to choose from. The defense will not know what we're doing. They're not going to have a clue. We're going to have offset formations, full house backfields. I know it's a really complex offense. You might have to watch back this part of the video 10 or 20 times, but I'm telling you, this scheme is going to work. And when it's time for 
a more open approach. Don't worry, we have some of that as well. We have this doubles formation here that spreads the defense out. We have the Y trips. I think we have everything covered then for what we could ever need from a team. So with that, next episode, we see how this team truly fares. We'll take it to the field in week one against the Titans, and then we'll sim through the rest of the year, or probably the rest of the year, and just see how well this old school Raiders team can play. Let me know your predictions down below in the comments section. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Definitely something different. I just wanted to find more ways to bring fun rebuild ideas to the channel. And I thought, why not just take it to the extreme as far as what John Gruden's been doing this offseason and what he's been talking about. Let's build the most old school team I could think of and see how well they do here in Madden 18. We'll find out how things go next time. Please leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and I will see you again soon. Have a great day, everybody.